starting to stream now, so we can get rid of these dropped frames real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and like let people know that I'm streaming and we should be good to go. Alright, I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and switch over to the game console. And here we go, where we last left off. Let's see, where we last left off, we pretty much faced off against like the Titan, the Team Dark, no, not Team Dark, uh, Team Star is Dark Man. Okay, I do not know how to pronounce the name. And I don't know. We need to do a little collapse with it. And also, I gotta say, sorry for not streaming last week at all. I tried streaming earlier, but like, for some reason, like, the game, like, 50 drop, 50% 50 drop frame. I was like, Jesus Christ, fuck that noise. Uh, so, actually, fuck. <laughs> I should have checked my list to see what I gotta do next. Cause you know, like, I, they have the checklist still. So, see, like, what's the best order to do things? Oh. Oh, no. We gotta face them against Team Dark Member. So, keys. Team Dark, Team Star. I'm gonna make you the Pokemon for that then. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry, like I said, sorry for not streaming these past couple, the last week at all. This time I will be streaming though. We'll be streaming. I will be. I'll try to at least, cause like, last time like, I got like, a fucking what? Where? Okay. I mean, there's only one palm. I don't see the outbreak here. 
Okay, I see two. Three. Four. Oh, oh, wee, oh, wee, oh. I should probably have it set to my. You're not shiny, are you? Yeah, no, I just want to make sure. Ever since fucking last time when we found a fucking shiny Vakuf, I'm just like on the edge now. I'm just like. Fucking hell. Oh my god! They just found me. They are fucking pissed at me. Fuck. Maybe I. Fuck off, fuck off! Let me out! Let me out! Fucking ooh, wing attack, I guess. I don't know, I forgot these guys, these new typing. Yeah, see, yeah, learn your fucking place, Toros. Motherfucker. Fucking Pokeball, this bitch. Fucking assholes. You're already maxed out your attack. Son of a bitch. Great ball, I guess. Really? Ass oh fucking Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Let me run. Or at the very least, let me switch out to get fucking other Pokemon. Go, Black Sun! Get in the fucking wall. Bitch. She's. They saw Black Sun and they're like, oh fuck, I ain't fucking with a common rider. Wired Ball fighting type. This Pokemon has a muscle combine, excels at the close quarters combat, and uses short horns to strike the opponent's weakest. Really? Alright, I guess. And I guess I ain't gonna question this bitch. Oh, you fucking asshole. Really, we're looking at right at his bottle. Alright. Fun. Run away. We're getting the fuck out of here. Let's go go to that fucking No, I don't want you. Assholes. No, I just want to go to the Pokemon Center. Oh my god, computer, shut up. Sorry, I'm not yelling I don't want to yell at you, computer, but like you scared me. I thought it was like gonna be that oh no, you disconnected the stream, but it's like, no, it's like hey watch anime horror on on here, it's like, I do. Just not in your thing. So I've had an interesting week last. Yeah, I really didn't. I don't think I have anything interesting. Oh, hold on. I got a little bitch. Second of all, check my ways. Has anything interesting happened like since I last streamed? Hmm. Today I tried to vomit the trauma. I tried to vomit place at my at my university today, and it's actually really fucking good. Like, really good. And the reason why I liked it so much too is like, it's also like it was like a cold day today, and like a hot bowl of vomit just does the spot. It just hits it. It's like, hmm. Damn thing. Granted, I couldn't eat it all, sadly, mostly because of two different reasons. One, I could not eat it all because... I don't know, I'm, I'm, now I'm just like, always like, kind of keep an eye out for any Pokemon, I'm like... I was like, hmm. But no, uh, what I was like, uh... Let's see, uh, last week... But no, uh, pretty sure my campus has a lot of restaurants to it. 
both like you know name brand restaurants like fucking Pizza Hut Express, Chick Fil A, stuff like that. Okay, wait. I gotta check to see where I'm going. There we go. Chick Chick Fil A, like Starbucks, multiple Starbucks actually. That kind of surprised me. But again, you know, it makes sense. But going to college campus, and you know, people need coffee. Me, I just drink my dog's pepper in the morning. And like, what happened was that, uh, uh, and like they have like a lot of versions. And then one that kind of caught my eye, and I was like looking through like the uh, website at one point, because I got like curious about it. I was like, hey, what kind of places does this place have? One of them was like, oh, Revolution Noodles. Like, oh, Revolution Noodles. Like, it's a vomit shop that has like. Has a vomit shop. Like, oh, shit, a vomit shop. Oh, wait, story. We got some story to read. Hold on, guys. Ah, it's you, Keen. Uh, Clive? Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Keen, I own you one. I own you one. I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've uh, been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers. That's all. How do we resolve the situation, Team Star? What's causing its members' odd behavior? What situation? What odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy. You know, some say that bullying has caused the worrying members of students to drop out of school. Others say that they hold up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. These are rumors. The matter that I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll leave this stigma in the middle. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've been. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set a foot inside the class for over a year. It seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took upon myself to issue a direct order to Steam. The team started to disband. I informed them that, they should, that should they refuse, I would be have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with the team. How would you do that, though? I'm afraid there's no response. And all I set for them is to make the choice between the dissolution and social design, to be honest. But you see, when I heard you talking to your phone, I guess you know, I could have come at a more crucial time. This guy's your peer. Can you hear me? Yep. Another time, then. Be careful. I see you coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was it someone with you just now? Nobody, it's just me. Pitch is gonna be like that. Hey. Alright. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This boss will go down easy as last one. See with con extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Uh, Alright, fine. Don't worry. Girl, I got the, I got the swagger. The swagger. Actually, I don't know if you're a girl, but Cassie Peter sounds like a girl name. Right? Damn, maybe only because of the thing about that TikTok, the fucking one from they were like has a clever fashion clank like, who's you and Cassie up here? How you doing? No, no, it's like. Can't say we enjoy and leave. How you doing? Whoa, whoa, you yeah, okay? I skipped over that line. Fuck! If you don't clear it real quick, like I'll have to come at you with total defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. I'll kick you in the balls. Well, all right. Tell me to set defense. This not about you. Ah, you shit at you. You shit at you. You gonna see stars when I'm done with you? Can you hear me? I'm 
man, if you see her just kind of, just, you know, I'll cut her, you. Just gonna, bitch. I defended myself, all right? But it wasn't enough. Yeah, give me the money. Lunch me. Give me lunch, my nerd. Mm. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who's had war on Team Star? That's right. Call me King. Call me by my name. Bro, thanks for the terrible news. Here's why I book for the back of the rest of my crew. Ha, still a V Star. Hey, King. You know, I'm gonna give him this. I'm gonna give him that voice when he's just when it's five. Guess if you told me to scope out the fire crew's base, I thought I'd come and give you some backup now, thou. No. Yeah, but it seems you're all set. Foom, foom, shoosh. Foom, foom. Is that you, Carlos? Oh, I mean, is that you, Carlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Charles, the card that. The Shard that. Ch Ch Wait, Charlie Cadet. Charlie Cadet. Boom. He's one of the Pokemon that I can't even take some care of within his grounds. Ah, Charles, wait. Man off. They may have a connection to, to Team Star Spire Crew. I bet you some. Don't worry, I'll be good with you soon enough. You press on heaven to the base, King. I see. Oh, wait. I see the third kind of stand guard. Nice work. See so inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shadot Sh Sh Squad. The boss, Mel, is our best all around of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown at her way. Though her methods are very heavy handed. Took a huge reward, must have made her blood boil. I mean, even now, her grunts are hard at work inside. The base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. When there's no one left to help you keep it cool, she will come out to confront you. Ring the bell once again. Once you're ready, kill all this phase of operation. Try to wipe the I can't pronounce the name. The squad off this map. I mean, like I said, I decided to try like this the place like at my campus. And I was like, alright, cool, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And it was like really good, like And the thing is like when I talked about today, I I was I was running off to like my friends, like hanging, like oh look, I got bombed today, and like lucky, whatever. And then like, they started talking, like, and I started saying like about like the restaurants, and I brought pizza, and I was like, man, I want some pizza. And it like made me hungry. And I was like, oh fuck, just some get looked at of being one of my sister squads. Now he thinks he can take us on. Trying to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this cat gate crasher what the team star can do. If he doesn't get crasher, know this. Unless he beat thirty red Pokemon in ten ten minutes, I bought someone with the finger to deal with the likes of you. Uh -huh, yeah, defeat them. That's not gonna be hard. Fucking kick it ass. Go ass. Kick it ass. Get it ass. Get it ass. Get the fucking ass. Get the ass. Get 
Fresh up, nerds. Now get their ass. Get their asses. Beat them up. Beat them up. Fuck it up. Dang it. No, no. I can't. No. God dang, I love you, but you're a stupid little bastard sometimes. And I was like, God damn, man, just go fight him. Hold on. Need some soy pops. I got time, I got time. I can grab a drink. Look at that, I did one over. Fuck you, that's why. I'm different, I've been breached. It's all up to the boss now. Look, I got us all hyped for this team. Cause we all, I think, cause I think it's like a lot of us thought like she was gonna be like leader, leader. Boss team, Charles Fire Crew, Mela. So you're the dope, so you're the dope who picked the fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenge it, so it'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. You better get messed up. Oh, she's pissed. Right here, right now. You're going down. Yo, well, you ain't going down. I ain't going down. You going down. Let's move a torch until there's nothing left but ash. I, I, I got a little delayed a little bit on that reading. Now it's for the rest of the shite of... She, she just got, God damn it. You, I don't know how to read this. Hmm. Maybe we should get more DLC for fucking Legend of Arceus. Cause honestly, like, I love this game so much, but I also like the Legend of Arceus still. I still, still need a shiny hunt, like for Zora. Nah, I ain't holding back anymore. <laughs> Room? What the fuck is that gonna do, huh? I ain't burned to the crisp yet. Oh shit! I guess it's alright that time. 
Aku kara, aku kara, aku kara. Niu, hen, shi. Bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Gotta heal. How does your thing function? Quick hit, quick hit. Little oh, bitch. They keep getting faster. But I get faster with Aqua Jet. I get Aqua Jet. It's an Aqua Jet. Yeah, weird. What's what's everywhere, bitch? Come on. I gotta, I gotta do a little bit of spam in here with this jet. He's gotta be like fucking going along with this fucking shoots right through the machine. And just... You defeated me on the team star. Ugh, this is really how it's gonna end. What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Yeah, my asshole. Put it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of charge to evolve. I don't even know the power of the storm. We will finally get the hunk and mo hunk of metal rolling. Glad Jane's in is not old Tigger. I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh shit, with the snide comments. You can be such a annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude, saying mean things is literally your whole deal. Is that true, Oidy? The girls of the characters have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She's put on a silly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her silly attitude is what people know her for. Well, come on, not you too, Harry. I will leave it all at that, folks. It's always like time for the big event. Yes, I'll bring star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What part is their plan? They got in touch with all the boys and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. It's Still is burning me right up. Yeah, you got some. You got some. You got some backstory going on here. Everything I had, now I'm now I'm split it out. Yeah, this is where it ends. I quick see you as really when I had it. Girl, you don't need to wear these boots all the time. Or at least get them smaller so you don't have to keep like fucking doing little fucking little marches over here. Beam in the battle is a huge deal. So here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. Me in the bay. <laughs> While you're at it, you have the CM2. Like, I'm gonna use it. Ooh, fine try. That's gonna be useful. I want to clear. I'm not giving you these to you. I'm giving them to your quacks well. Soon do I. Got where you came from. Now leave me alone. You're Melvin Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I like to see. Ah, uh, who are you supposed to be? Why am I getting one? Is I got an accent. It's Brooklyn accent. Car cat, wait. Boom. Boom. Your friend Carlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this place looking for you. You did? He's really attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because he used to play with them every day. Well, heck, when I was still going to school. Wait, let me just also adjust my mic real quick. There we go. I had to sit over there because uh, I was playing Among Us Friday night. Or Saturday night, I think. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way he's playing the movie. I realized I used the wrong voice there. 
Do you have any idea why Charles wants to want to visit you? Da 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 da. The phone, Charles. To me, looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Shut it already, will ya? Say he decides to hold himself up, and he's based plots him against the academy. Will you wear this? But I've heard a stupid woman like that. Hands on the chains, like sounds like that. That one's still spotting garbage. But what about that motherfucking car you were burning around just now? A storm mobile? We made it back then for a long time again to help us out with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came up for trouble. You ever use it for? What is this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star, not Operation Star Fall? No, this isn't the first time I'm hearing it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. I mean, this team star? It's maybe we'll always treasure. Girl, what the fuck is be going on with your fucking team? Mm. Keen, it's me. Could you guys middle say that smell of stars badge is now in your possession? Let's see. And that is no boss Liam. The rest of the team as the squad shouldn't last long. Ugh. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now be worried, I'll try some LP to over to your phone as promised. Yeah, I'll make more TMs. Use the TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. Hire my supply unit wrap, meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. I guess. W what the heck? Hey, stop that. S somebody help. Oh, come on, he's like you. Ugh, I drilled all of me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Anyway, before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name's Keen, right? This is part of the Operation Starfall Battle Unit. Can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. I won't be nice to them. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say that Team Star wasn't always a bunch of Team Liquids. Most of them used to be famous bullying. They just found it hard to interact with people. Then those misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was just push back against the bullies that couldn't face alone. But uh, that's the thing I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found to talk about how some secret mind mastermind behind the mess by, by the fire of bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't know what I talk as much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, good luck with taking down the other bosses and stuff. Bases, but you know, bosses still count. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're gonna just go ahead and pull up the list again so we can see what we gotta do next. Yeah, let me pull up the list. Oh, okay, we gotta deal with another Titan. Great. Great, another Titan. This one's a Steel. Steely Dan. Dan of Steel. Let's see. There it is. We're going that way, bitch. Wait, no! We got it. Look at it. Look at it. We. Oh, fuck. No, probably would be easy if I just. 
Det vil næsten. Ja. Yeah, see how much easier that was to do this. I can say plug it and just fly away. Oh, so, oh, wait, I should also fucking heal. That also would be good to know, do before I go into this battle. Keep getting hit, maybe. Because I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, I don't want to go into. Oh, yeah, so I forgot that she was. I need to find a Tingaton still. Here we go, we're going up the way to find the Zeo Titan. There it is. Yo, Keen. So someone in one of the mines that I around here. We should find the luck in Steel Titan. Rumor has it that thing is strange and huge and real long. That's what's that's what she said. You think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot? I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe too fast. If that's the case, why not put one of yours? <laughs> Hmm. Might or you guys might count with catch up. Have catch up. No. Yeah. But no, uh Man, like I was like talking to my friend earlier, about, like the ramen I had. He was like, Oh yeah, like I was talking about the restaurants, it's like the pizza was like good because like it's Pizza Express. And actually real quick thing about Pizza Express. Pizza Express, I feel like, is one of my favorite kind of, like, like, Presno Pan pizzas I can get because, one, it's Pizza Hut. And two, usually when I get it, it's, like, you can kind of tell, like, when it's not being freshly made or whatever. Or when it's, like, like freshly made and not, like, you know, frozen. And here's what it is that makes it, like, that way. The best way you can tell is, like, the pepperoni flavor and, like, the cheese and everything is that if it's, like, like not perfect, then you know that shit's good. And I say this because like, because I feel like if it is perfect, then like you know like someone like it was like pre-made whatever. But when it's not, like you, that means you knew that someone like legit just legitimately just made it right now. And like it's really good. And again, it's also, it's like, it's pizza, of course it's gonna be good. But it's like, it's just good. And again, I also have like another pizza place there. Okay, so technically there's two different pizza places you could get pizza from at this, at my campus. One of which is like... One of which is like, uh... One of which is like, beep 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 one of which is like, you know, like I said, pizza X. Okay, I forgot it's a ghost. It's a ghost. I forgot it's a ghost. I forgot it was a ghost. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's like Pizza Express. That's like one way you can get pizza. And then like there's like an actual pizza restaurant. Like that's like for campus. Like I said, and it's like. The pizza there is good, but I'm like, I think I'm probably stick because because like they also have like a combo deal. Like for six dollars, you can get like a slice of pizza, which is relatively big, a bag of chips and a soda. Come on, get the ball! Come on, get the ball! 
And so, like, I got it, and I was like, hmm, this dog's pretty good, Vita. And I'm, like, getting, like, an... Because here's the thing, like, my schedule kind of goes like this. Like, I think I explained this last time, though. God fucking damn it, um... My schedule goes from, like, can I be, like, if it's, like, an early day, like, I have my only one class that, that's, like, only 50 minutes long. Usually, like, I legit, like, leave, like, 10 minutes after the classroom, after the class ends. Like, I will rush to the bus stop and leave. Well, my, well, my other days, I had to, like, do, like, either wait to get picked up, or I had to wait an hour before, like, bus leaves. An hour or so before the bus leaves. There we go. Give me gold. Because it's just a pure ghost type. Eh. But anyway, as I was trying to say, though, like, as I go, like, to, like, the bus... Whoa, whoa! Okay, that's too close. But as I was trying to say, though, um... As I, like, you know... And usually, like, on those days, like, when I had, like, an hour or so, like, I just grab food to eat real quick and, like, a, to snack on. Whether it be, like, an actual lunch lunch, or I just grab, like, a, like... Uh, fries from like uh, Chick Fil A or just like a pizza. Do like take a quick bite to like, satisfy my hunger for a little bit until I get home. Wait. Here's the big bitch. Go ahead. Where you going? Where you going, fucker? Get back here. Get back here. I'll get you. Get you. Dude, this thing looks like a fucking Muppet. Oh, it's warm. Oh shit! Six, oh, I didn't know if that's six nine. Hi, nice. Standing here. Realize. You're just like me. Trying to make history. I don't know, I just like imagine it's like, it's like fucking trying to do like that fucking Mel Gibson rising thing. Was like rapidly punching it. It's like. Phew. But it's like, because like it's like one hit at a time, so it just goes, stand. Dang it. Come here. Burn. 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 No, you don't. Now, let's go ahead and take a moment to heal before I go in there and try to fight it again. I gotta say, it feels so weird, like, finding some of the, the early potions, like, I'm finding hyper potions early on, and they're, like, just like, oh, look, here's a potion and a potion, and, like, as, like, as you go on, you get, like, find more of it, but now, like, I'm just finding, here's a, here's a hyper potion, just cause, like, oh, fucking shit. Get over here, I'm gonna fucking find your ass. Mm. Rev up my motorcycle. I get like lightly like pull on it's like low like can't make a rev noise spot. I gotta look cool here. There you bitch ass went. 
Oh no. He's gonna fucking power up into dynam- I mean, eat the herb. And time now, I'm getting eating something. Oh, fuck, of course it is. The bitch. Keen, you managed to pin down the Titan? That's the Lucking Steel Titan? It's, uh, well, sure as long. I think a little friend, it might be even feisty now. Have they eaten those herbs? We gotta do this together, Keen. Yeah, we gotta do this together. We gotta kick its ass. Like, put it on the foot of its ass. This is my happy plan. Vic is gonna taste so good, seasoned by my total school. That yeah, that's not gonna work. Should I switch now? Let's, let's keep fucking slapping it just a little bit. I don't know why. I just, I just find how nice. Imagine a small little mouse. Oh my fucking god. I'm just like imagining, like I said, like this like fucking little mouse is walking up to the fucking giant web and going, fucking shit at you. And then, now that's weakened. What's that? Go, Haruto. It is a little egg. I didn't even know. I thought it was a little some metal. But no, like, I see, like, I actually, like, bounce up and down. And not even, like, that bounce up and down, like, the hat bounces up, like, like, the hat moves up a little bit, but the little top hat, like, just bounces all the way up. Now, who's gonna die faster, though, is the question. But guess what? I'm not the one dying here. Okay, maybe I am the one dying here. Or am I? Good to see you, stupid little bastard. Why, you may have your fucking powerful potion. You, know, you don't have the power of modern medicine. Oh, the bitch. He's not gonna be very effective, but I'm gonna smack it anyway with a tackle. I can just imagine like picking up Howard and just throwing at him. Bitch. Okay, that's even more funny now. I was imagining like, oh, I gotta tackle it to beat it off and like be beat it. Oh my fucking god damn it. This is the second time I had a fucking stupid little tongue. But the idea I had that was like so funny was like picking it up and like throwing it and it just smacks its face and it just fucking dies. But no, what I thought was that was so fucking hilarious. Or no, what I remembered was like, like I said, I was playing Among Us with uh, a community night and uh, Axe and Kiss's server. And she like dresses up her character like to look like a little bush. You can see where this is going. And what happened was that uh Okay, the reason why she makes her thing look like a bush because like she's like she loves the Pokemon Bulbasaur. She's obsessed with it. And what happened was that um I made a joke because I was like I, I was a fucking pasta one because we were playing hide, hide and seek mode. And I made the stupid joke of like I am I'm gonna trim that bush and everyone went like wait a minute and I went I literally realized when I sat there, I sat there, I was like, fucking damn it. And I just, like, fucking, like, literally pulled away from the mic and just screamed. I was like, fuck. And granted, like, we all laughed at it, but I was like, there still is, like, this fucking moment. Just, God damn it, me. I'm, like, face palming at my own fucking stupidity. Anyway, uh, 
We did it, Keen. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at his face, though? I didn't expect Ted to look such a little cutie. Little cutie? It's a big old cutie. I bet we're going to find more of that Herbal Miska the day before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. I wonder what this one's going to teach us. I forgot. I'm sure there's some here too. Aha! Look at him go. So excited to get his Herbal Mystica. H oh my fucking god, I just feel like it's, it, it, it's HM. And we're collecting them to like improve the way of like how I travel around the world. Oh my god damn it, it is HM. God damn, how did I not realize that? I knew it, I spy her Miska. You and I found the salty her Miska. So, it's salty and white. Oh my fucking god. And we literally got it from the... We got... A salty substance by being a giant long pink worm. God, did, did they know? They had to know. They had to know. Like I'm looking up at all. Like they, they knew. It's like what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like they knew. Anyway, another just such. We're on a roll. Now let's see, what does the book have to say? Apparently the salty hot miska helps with acting aching feet, hands and feet. Good for neuro neuropathy and numbness. We got weak muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. I need that for my legs, because my legs have been fucking hurting every time I go up and down the stairways at my university. This is definitely how map will feel even better. Come on, King, let's get some food going. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's how you like, yeah. So to keep you waiting. Here you go. Another of your favorite old Harvest sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. Oh, my lady, my eye, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Yo, dude, he's fucking doing so by me. Oh, shit. Yes. Free as my Don't worry, I made you extra this time for that boo of yours. You want to give me a sandwich to and Yes, I'll share. Of course, I'll fucking look at this little fucking adorable man thing. Dragon. I don't know if it's a guy or girl. I'm not gonna gender it yet. Yeah. Come on, Maple Sif. Got to be you too, bud. I gotta feed it. Look, look at these big old stupid eyes. And like, every time it looks at me, it's just like... The big old baby eyes. It's like... Sandwich? You got a sandwich for me, buddy? That's it. Small bites. Small bites. Chomp, chomp, snarf. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Shit, this went fucking super same way I'm over there. Come on, we're gonna jump higher. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it down, would you? I know. This would seem to be better for the hers, too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Before I forget, can yeah, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the hoe of Miska where we find him, right? As the book says, it's not all. It's not like people Pokemon just happen to be like these herbs. There's something in the herbs that making these titans so strong and big. This like these titans lay isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever. It's just a pantry where titan keeps its foods. Oh, you don't see anything else here? What happened? <gasps> wow. Rough. You heard that? Invite King. Where's this wolf? Right? Yeah. 
I, I'm not mad at things. Look at it. Barf. See, I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my best. Who's my best boy, huh? Who's the best boys? You are. Yes, you are. It's long as I heard that wolf. Now, so it was really definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things have keep happening. But we still got two more heads to go. Hope you stick it out until we're done. But since I'm done with that, you know who's going to be calling. Hello. Hello, Kane. This is Sada. Hey, yo. How you doing, mother? Uh, fucking like, uh, okay, um, I need to check that. Come on, I don't ask again. You gain more of its original power. Why are you running upon it? It seems you can jump higher if you press and hold the B button. We're gonna take care good care of Koridon. Uh gonna see examples of this. Anyway. You know, normally this is where I say, oh, okay, let's go to the next thing I gotta do. But I did say eventually when we would go to school. Get a little scooty school. Oh fuck. Mm, shit. But let's go ahead and set that as a destination. Alright, folks, we can go ahead and go over there. Alright, let's go ahead and like get like some of the map and fill it up a little bit. See it's smooth sound from here. I think this should be a way through. Should be. Yep, I was like, it, it was a way through. We're going through, we're going through, we're going through, we're going through. Yo! Yeah. We're going on through. We're going on through. Just to find another village. Whatever it's called. It's a town. It's a city. I just also realized recently that a lot of these places don't have city in the name. Or town in the name. Like the past couple of times. I think I think I started doing away with like the whole like adding city or town to the names. Like back in like Gen Six, I never realized it until like now. I'm like, oh shit! Like think about it though, like legitimately. Nah, son of a bitch. He's a fucking little bastard. That's why I've had the. I, I guess I'm frustrated, I guess, because you know, I always just, you know, kill it. Bastard. I can't even run. Mary Jane, you gotta do this. I guess seed. Oh, I really do not have given you that much grass. I mean, have I? Run away from the manga. I saw it staring at me. He was staring right at me, and I was like, move. 
I don't know, I always find it funny, like, when there's a Pokemon to stand there, like, wait for me to do something, I'm like... I'm just like, move on, move on away, get away from me. Meow. Meow. Okay, just gonna... I have no idea how the hell I got here. How did I get all the way over here? How the fuck? Get your little worm. Get its ass. Get its ass. I feel like I catch more. You know, I knew into that part of it, like, oh, it appeared to be caught. What does that mean? It appeared to be caught. I always, like, misread that as, like, oh, it appears to be caught. Like, what does that mean? Like, no, it does not appear to be caught at all, you liar. Hey, wait, ain't that that snake over there? No, but always confused about that line because it made me think like, like, what? Did someone else catch it or something? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, it seems we already been caught. Fucking really? This thing is like not like getting in there. This fucking asshole. And that's a rock timer. Fucking damn. Come on, you bastard, get in the ball. Like, see this shit, Makahita? Like, real shit, Makahita. Look at this. Like, why are you just not getting the ball? Okay, that right there, that line. Appeared to be caught. What does that mean? Appeared to be caught. It did not get appear to get caught at all. You asshole. I gotta know. Am I the only one like who's not like understanding it?
What does Void do? Let me see what that does. No. Okay, like I okay, see Alex, I'm not the only one who's ever gotten like ever asked the question of like what does that mean? Cause like, I, I had it and I was like, am I really the only motherfucker who's never asked, like, what do you mean appear to be caught? That's not to be appear caught at all. Like, that's just like a dude, like, literally like, getting out of the wall, like, immediately. I, granted, I think it's like maybe like one of those where, like, oh, it's a recyclable text things. But, like, it recycles it, and it's like, oh, like, it just happened to recycle to that one. Which, honestly, I would understand if it wasn't for the fact, like, it gives me it. Like the early on, like I appear to be caught by it's like one Pokeball shake or like zero Pokeball shakes at all. So I'm like, what do you mean it appeared to be caught? Like it's not caught at all. Well, I'm trying to adjust myself so I'm like sitting cross like a little bit. Anyway, so that's. Oh, gross. No, I, I had a bad, like, little burp. Like, you know the kind of burp, right? Be a burp and, like, you can feel something kind of come up for a second there. Yeah, go ahead. Don't let me, don't do that. Oh, yeah, so, um, yesterday I got my hair dyed. I got my hair and head re dyed. Because, like, my hair was getting long at this point. Like, it was to the point where, like, I think, like, a good majority of my bangs covered my face. Not just my eyes, but my whole face almost. So I was like, hmm, shit, what do I do now? Yeah, good evening, Master Key. What class would you like to take? I would take Biology. Yes. Is this a Jacques? Yeah. Hello, hello, my name is Jack, and I will be your Pokemon Biology teacher. In my class, we'll learn all about the very- Oh, I'm just gonna Facebook. The various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope, I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more than the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you the great way to, a great way to get to know your Pokemon in more and more. If you become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them carry the Pokemon and walk along with you. Sounds great, right? You can use the Z-Up button to throw a Pokemon and let out the Pokemon inside. Then the cues and watch your Pokemon run under, about running around the foot if you ask me. When you let your Pokemon out, they try speaking to them. They should respond in some way. So we're able to let them know who they are. Have a your Pokemon out and a little. Have a lane your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell you what it is? We shouldn't let your Pokemon inside. You have water, it's like. It's like bowing. That's right. Great job, King. I see you did your homework. The quick answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage the walls and desk and other things walking around in the boat, so it's not a lot of time to the species. Therefore, please don't let your Pokemon outside. Please let your Pokemon out of the Pokemon's wall outside, okay, everyone? I think I see them around the classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, we might become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals all together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember this, yeah, to throw a Pokeball and let them out the Pokemon side. You can also want to remember that throw that ball and a white Pokemon will start battle. Look at that all the time we have today. See you all next class. Okay, real quick, I gotta grab some water because I'm fucking up my words here today.
put on my headphones, and here we go. But no, um, so yeah, I got my haircut dyed and cut again. Ooh, what the hell? And so what happened with that was like, and I got my haircut like dyed, and like that. It looks really great. The red is great and everything. And the salon I go to is like a, a Korean owned one, as like I can tell because for one, they have like K-pop playing like in the fucking screen up ahead, up like in there where I'm gonna see. And the fact like you know they have Korean written like on some of the photos. And the reason why, I, and honestly at this point that that place is gonna be like a usual place to get my haircut and stuff like that. And what's so funny though is like they like they speak Korean to each other of course. And the thing is like I always feel nervous when they talk about talking Korean, and here's the reason why. It's not because I'm like one of those people who think like you just speak English because you're in America or any of that shit. Like no, that's fucking stupid. We're in Texas. You have people who speak Spanish all the time. No, it's more like I'm just afraid. Of, like are they talking about me? Because like sometimes like they'll talk, they'll talk, look at me, and talk. And like granted, I know like they're doing my hair, but I'll see I'm like afraid. Like oh, are they gonna say something bad about me? It doesn't help that fact, like, recently, like, when I went to go get my hair cut, they, uh, were pretty much, um, not only do I still wear a face mask when I go to them, even though I think at this point I don't have to, only because, like, I see other people, like, not wear the mask. I think it's only me and my mom who wear a mask, besides, like, you know, the workers. But no, um, the problem is, like, when I wear a mask, uh, they also put, like, this little plastic thing on my forehead to make sure, like, the head doesn't get my eyes. And combining that with like the mask, it like makes like my face hot and sweaty. And I'm just afraid like I these see me as gross, whatever. Okay. I, I see myself as gross when that happens. So I'm just like, shit. Yes, I did. We already did that. I did it earlier. I used it to kick the ass of Team Star. I recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in the party. You get them all. You can get them all around the table to make them eat sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you learn more about like, food, Mrs. Sakura's class is the best place to go. So that's why you're joining a picnic with your Pokemon. You may find something very important in your bathroom. So you can say something with a pickle Pokemon. Let's all say it together. Boxes, Pokeballs, eggs. Phew, we all got it right. Except for that one motherfucker over there. I know what you said. You said Pokeballs. You're not wrong, but fuck you anyway. The way you something I'm talking about is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're, they're probably facing the basket rather stealthily by the Pokemon at the picnic. Or the egg will help it warm it, which will allow it to hatch. But we'll hold up by sending the boxes though. You need to have them in your pocket. And here's almost two important things I'd like to remind you about my eggs. Pokemon trust them with their eggs because they believe in us. So don't eat them. So I will show you. So I'm so sure you did. So I sure would be happy to see you all being with small pants with your little Pokemon eggs. Whoops, money most important part came right as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Okay, so let's also talk about like this funny thing about Pokemon, which is like gotta be eggs. Cause they're, like, you know, they can't say where they really come from. But I love like how like in this one, it's like you look like eating and pregnant, it's like you like you see a fucking like two one go off and you just go. They fucking they fuck and you just like just eat your food as like they go off and then like like a minute an hour or so later it's just like sorry about that fucking pop i meant to like lightly tap the desk it's like a little like that's the egg isn't it yep Hello, hello, I hope you learned something new again. Please make sure to teach about the points of eggs in the last class together. Oh no, is that one using the Pokedex? We're just Pokemon born from eggs as well as those encountered in the three other modes, so don't you worry about that. And I just, <laughs> just so you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokedex app. It was way before I started teaching here at the academy, though. Back then, I was a researcher. In fact, Drake the Clever wasn't working in the education time either. He's just here alongside me in some facility. Yeah, the research program together day in, day out. Those, those sure were fun times. I get you out all the time, though. Heh. 
First second editor gets this. I'm pretty sure I was talking about the Pokex. Uh, anyway, I'd like to teach you about Pokemon. Catch a Pokemon. As you all know, great with Pokemon. Catch Pokemon is more easy. It's low, fast, low, it's HP. But either way, you have a few chances. Can you guess what it is? Give a Pokemon away. Let's go play. <laughs> Prove you're stronger than the Pokemon. Can you imagine, like, just being like that, like, fucking being, like, grabbed by its little neck? And just. I'm stronger than you. You need to learn this, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Pikachu's like, Pikachu, Pikachu! Like, you don't understand how oh, I am the stronger one here. <laughs> you pretty gotta do like Arceus style. Like, you gotta fucking square. You gotta square with it yourself. You get back. Nah, nah, nah. Let him cook. Like, you quack squeeze, like, this horn. Like, you, you put him back. It's like, no. Let him cook. The quick thing for making Pokemon easier to catch is to flick them with a staff condition. It's easy, easy. Especially if I get staff condition. It's one drastically easier to catch. If you're going to use movements like Plurid Pokemon like Seed Powder or Hypnosis, let up your Pokemon to be a cinch. The other ways to improve your catch rate as well, like using Pokemon strategy designed to be effective against a certain Pokemon. Even if that gives you catch rate works too, always thinking up on a Pokemon from behind to catch them by surprise when you start about. If you're having trouble, you may want to make ground to the gyms to get gym badges. And your badge will make it easy to catch Pokemon up higher and higher levels. Please will come and show me your Pokemon Pokemon when they fill up. Another day, another door was class. Oh yeah, don't forget you. I uh, next class will be a test. So how high do these like uh gyms not gyms, uh classes go? Oh medium. Wait, was it medium or mid final? Hello, I would say, fucking damn it, mid, mid time exam. It sure feels good to fill in those empty spaces on the answer, doesn't it? Take your time and complete each, complete each question carefully. Wait, what? Okay, wait. Combine with. Uh... Wait, what? Hold on, wait, what? Go, go back. Wait, what? Which will not make easy to catch? Give them berry. It's easy to use. Alright, everyone's out there. I hope you all enjoy chatting any questions. That's like fucking like having like Steve. Well, I mean, obviously not Steve. He's not. Like, but Tim Cook is like a professor. And, like you have your phone. He's like, how do you like your iPhone? And he's like fucking over your desk. Like, does he like the iPhone? Oh, you have an Android. You fucking fail. Get out of my class. Which is funny because like my teacher like um, okay so apparently I'm taking like four classes this semester because I want to be full time student. I wait right away. I hope y'all were looking forward to see how you did. But no, um, and one of them is like the fundamentals of digital media and like we're talking like all and earlier today we talked about like you know the titans and leaders of like digital media. We're going to get that way. Let's take a look at the Let's get two questions. We're going to correct to pass the final exams. Fuck you. I bet you it's because like I did not understand like that one question. I was like, how do you mean? It's just math. Math is Miss Time. Who is Miss Time? Who is Miss Time?
Hello everyone, I'm nice to meet you. My name's Time, and I will be a math teacher. I said to put you on the spot at the start of the class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers and arithmetic and the like? Kinda, like I'm good at math, but I'll say I don't like it. Sort of, yeah, sort of, uh. I'm either sort of or, uh. Oh my, <laughs> think of your honest answers. Some of you may not like plumbers, some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. When I you friends math, I hope you all find yourself enjoying the more life together. I do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Which I all caught up on class is strong as me. For examples, grass is strong against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? You seem to be good for us. One last guess. Bear in mind that water is strong as fire. If one the water type with water and heads of fire open, what because of the move damage? It's doubled. That's fine, I knew you'd count on you for this question, King. Z moves of a type that the opponent is weak to is a super effect to attack and multiplies the damage of your those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves that of the type is resistant to isn't very effective. It divides the, divides the damage of your move by two. <laughs> I don't mean to encourage on this dangerous battle state territory, of course, but I thought it'd be best to use the lively type as example. This type of max can make that can make fun even fun for those of you who don't mind lo but like I said, don't you think? Yeah, true. You... Come on, is this a bell? That's all I have now for shame. For now, shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. I'm going for fucking study boy. I'm studying school. I'm going to try to do all my classes. You like math with this time? Yes, please. Hello everyone, I was having fun with us today. Have you all joy shopping? Buying cheesy bread or choosing new clothes? Even just winter shopping is just so much fun. In today's class, I like to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. As far as I'm sure everyone here has visited Pokemon at least once, they all they sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs can be one of the only items you can find there. They cost 200 each. Now I like you all do some thinking with me here. One Pokeball. When Pokeball is 200, if you had 2,000, you buy as many Pokemon as you could afford, how would you receive? Trick question, I know what fucking the answer is. Probably gonna be 11, isn't it? I would say 10. But, here's the thing. I know how the games work. You buy 10, you get like the free Premier Ball, and that's gonna count that, isn't it? That's correct. Well done, Keen. 2,000, you can afford to purchase the maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, if you buy 10 or more, any one type of Pokeball, you will see one Premier Ball, special white ball as a bonus. So the quick answer is in fact 11. It sure is nice to get a nice little bonus like that on a shopper trip, isn't it? It is. It really is. Oh my, is that the bell? I thought that's all for now. What a shame. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you on next class. I'll be looking forward to it too. Very nice lady. But no, um, yeah, we were talking about in fundamentals of like digital media. We talked about like, you know the Titans and things like you know, you know Bill Gates, uh, Tim Cook, Elon Musk, and it was funny because when we were being Elon Musk, we were all kind of like dunking on him a little bit. But we, I mean, most of my teacher, because like a, he's like a he's like he's not really a smart man. He's like that. It was just fucking hilarious. It's like he like his bit about it anyway, and he admits that he has a little bit of a bias because when we went to talk about Tim Cook, he talked a lot about positive things about him, and like a lot of positive things about Apple. But everyone else kind of got got like a little bit of like the like, oh Bill Gates was like kind of got with like a certain person, boy Jeff Bezos getting divorces and shit like that. It's like Tim Cook, Tim Cook had like a good thing to look at. 
I don't know, I just want to play. But I don't know why, I just want to swing it so low, it's just be like... Hello everyone, let's have a fun glass today. Tim, do you enjoy fortune telling, horoscopes, and the like? Thank you for this great to read your horoscope and see that all I I see that it says good luck is coming your way. Today, I'd like to teach you all a little math while focusing on the topic of luck. Perhaps you have the chance to follow your various crop during the battle. Quick, go ahead! When a Pokemon attack, this is a quick way. The damage is increased by half. In other words, it is one and a half as much damage as a normal would. It truly is luck that determines whether you Pokemon lands a quick hit when or one has landed on it. This can be used. Can be because can cause a great upset in battle. Is there no percent of chance? Ooh, I actually don't know. Like one four, I was fucking correct. I legit just guessed that. I was like, no way it can be one on one hundred because like that's a little too low. Twelve and like one hundred, that's a little too high. So I was like, four and one hundred. Well done. This is correct. I keep reading the words wrong. The chance of landing a critical hit is said to be 1 in 24, which is figures to be roughly 4.17%. The other more favorable for said moves, though, why moves such as Stone Edge and Shadow Call have a 12% chance. You can always use a move called Focus Energy or an item known as Tire Hit. Both ways a critical, edge, critical hit ratio by 2 seconds. That's a 50% chance to land a critical hit. Here's good. Feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so great to be struck by one. There's a surprising amount of mathematical probability hitting Pokemon battles, you know? If you're able to count critical hits that'll swing you in your favor, you'll be able to do it for more strategic choices for you during the battle. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Midterm, okay, that's what it was. Okay, must be in a fucking like mid finale. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I can talk about some fucking another fucking hell I thing. I mean, like, while well, I'm like at campus. So I decided to go visit the um, library. I visited it once before, uh, I think, like my first week. And it was only because like I was looking for like one of the rooms that one of my classes take place in, and like, which was funny enough by the clock. Okay, actually, it's actually a funny story about this. So um, like I look up like, hey, where is this class mat? And it says, oh, it's in the library. Like, oh, okay, so I go up the first, go upstairs, look around that area, go downstairs, look around, couldn't find it. Go to the top floor, still couldn't find it. I was like, what the fuck? Where is this? I was like, I was like, where is this? And I was like wondering what the fuck was. And eventually, like, I was getting tired out, and I sat down, and I was like, "Fuck, I, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna try to Google it." And I type in Alec Library, and it says, "Oh, you mean this room?" It's like, "What?" And it turns out there's been so many times where like people were like, "What the fuck is this room?" Like it legit came like a, like a Google result. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, like when you like, like when you get, it gets Googled up so much or it becomes like, it's actually like a frequently asked question on my school's website. And I was like, and of course I was like, where is it then? It's right across the library. And I was like, are you fucking serious? The room I passed without looking at it, and I was like, oh, just whatever. And I was like, no fucking way. And I get up, I go walk across. And I was like, holy shit. It really is like right across. 
Like, I was that shocked. I was like, it's right there. It was right there all along. I feel like an idiot. Miss Wife Floyd. Miss Wife Floyd. Uh, who is Miss Wife Floyd? Uh, let me see who this Miss Wife Floyd is. Let me see who Miss Wife Floyd is. Hey, wait a moment. Hey, hey! Fucking, it's the professor. Oh shit. Oh, I see we have some new. This is what I said. I. Oh my fucking god, she is. She's fucking beautiful. Oh my god. I will be the one to impart knowledge of the past to your little minds. History is a wonderful thing. Truly splendid. Lives of our ancestors. Yeah. History. Forge a path of the present in which we live. Today we shall learn about your most... The most greatest mysterious... Okay. Today you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea. The Great Crater. As you all aware, the massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea is... Is in the heart of our region. There in uh, this crater is called Area Zero, and the research of geological strata and material composition has been shown the crater's effect for over one million years old. As long as we have a sudden sun rests at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Time for time for the big iconic young king. Answer me this: Where is there supposed to be resting the depths on the inside of this area? A treasure. I say treasure. Heh, <laughs> that's good. You guys play as a clever one, aren't you? So you did your homework before I confirmed. My class. That's right. Some believe that I treasure more valuable than anything in the world in this world. Invest in the depths of this crater. So much for so much for dreams of treasure hunting, though. As a lab had been built in those very same depths. Oh, but before I get, you all do well to remember that the, the great crater and area zero are both off limits to all those for who for official business there. You want to entertain the foolish notion of galvanizing it off into area zero with good riches. Is no place for children doing a treasure adventure. But what if the one piece is there? What if the one piece is real and it's in there? Besides, if we were all puzzled to investigate there, I would be first. I would sure be the first to do so. Oh, was it that time, right? I was going to fill in your minds with knowledge. Then, this ends today's lessons. We will unravel more of history's enigmas to together next time. Yeah, you know I'm gonna take more of history. I'm gonna be smart, stupid. One no more miss about Ryford. Ryford. Like I'll be like over in her class and be like, "Hey girl," like sitting at a desk, like, "Hey girl, hey girl, how you doing? Come on, how you put them all? Fucking doing like fucking joint bro? Was it? Whoa, hey, you put them all. Can you uh, tell me about history? Cause I wanna know if we can make history between you and I. Whoa. Green, my little students, whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. About 2,000 years ago, the region came under the rule of the Paudean Empire. Historic accounts describe the Paudean Emperor as a, being the, quite the dictator. The Emperor has also DLC believed that the legend of the treasure that rests deep within Area Zero. I must mention the that the civilizations of our ancestors were not as developed as ours today. People back then were more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, being beyond human comprehension. In an attempt to gain power to stand against the Paldean Nemo country, the Emperor sent people in droves to join the hunt for the fairy world treasure of Area Zero. Now I'll die again! Now we're going to make I come again, King. Answer me this. How many years ago was the Paldean began to. Hmm, don't ask me that question without me. How many years ago is it? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat and be like, how many years ago was how? I knew it. I was legit like I was like leaning towards 2000 and it's right. It's 
Looks like I am clever. I'm a genius. I just had to double check my answer. Genesis is about 2,000 years ago. This is when the great era of exploration began. However, it is said that not a single venture was sent out by the Emperor ever reached the depths of the area zero. That's because they didn't have the One Piece. They didn't believe in the One Piece itself. They didn't have a great crew. They didn't have a swordsman, a cook, a navigator, a historian, a doctor, a shipwright, and Yamada. And BB. And I think that one. Oh, and also a whale. Was a punishing journey itself that barred their way, or perhaps an unknown creature? The resounding failure of this great era of exploration almost certainly hide in the air, mysterious, mysterious around the crater. Oh, what, what I wouldn't give to explore areas there at Central State at the time. I suppose I can only hope for the swift mention of a time machine. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up and filling your mind with knowledge. Send to these lessons. We don't know more yet. Next time. Gotta get water. Gotta get water. Yeah. I don't put it like on my desk, but I put it like on the floor. But like far away from the game systems. In this case, I somehow like do not put it on the cap. But like I said, um, like there was a so funny just like fucking had my teacher like talk about like all these other companies and like he's like, like this guy kind of, but like, like he admits that. Although I'm glad like, he at least you know admits his bias. I just find it just so funny just be like, like these guys did all these things. Like, like, what did this? How about this? Happened that? And also I got I got a minor fucking Google class. You guys remember that? I remember like that was like an interesting idea like oh shit like glasses on the computer computer on your glasses that's pretty fucking cool but then like it turns out like my teacher actually did try google Glass when like it was like around and he said that like one of the major flaws is like it overheats like a computer does and he was bald at the time he still bald to this day and like it like hurts because you know it gets hot so like oof like, no wonder it failed. As you should remember from my last class, I again, about 2,000 years ago. They lasted for over 1,000 years, but not a single soul was able to venture all the way to the depths, huge reaches of the areas that poured much of its, its human and financial resources into exploration before there was a fire land of 200 years ago. They were in the surrounding nation, units, and one instant. Just the formation of Pelde as we know it today. Yes, the academy that we're at now filling our young mind knowledge was so apparently was also apparently established at this time. School burning, though, was only had on good compared to the years. It's just as as it was from years ago. We were talking about this piece of history. <laughs> splendid. Things of all are truly splendid. Except for it to not have a Pokeball portion though. Though relatively new edition. Ha, huh, probably time to make a good improving. Let's see if you can listen to my lecture. 800. I'm not stupid. Correct, I see a look of colors on your face was indeed just that. I hate nothing more than when a student only pretends to listen. Uh, yeah, I'm listening, but at the same time, I'm looking at your pretty face, pretty mama. I wanna know if there's any possible making any history with this. Whoa. That might be like a fucking stupid ass thing. I told my mom, like, I was, like, doing, like, a fucking giant Bravo expression when I was, like, talking about, like, my mom, like, like oh, yeah, giant Bravo, like, met, like, Scooby-Doo gang, and, like, Velma was into him. And I said, like, man, if that was me, I'd be heading up on both Daphne and Velma. I'm like, cool, I hope. Hey, pretty mama, I know Fred's all about building traps, but girl, are you sure you're not building traps yourself? Because you trapped my heart for you. Cool, I hope. And the one I'm proud of the most that has been fucking Velma is, like, you can't see without glasses, Velma, I can't see without can't see future out me and you. Whoa. Anyway, this game was constructed exactly two eight hundred five years ago, to be precise. In other words, the Academy is here is eight hundred five years old. At the time it offered state of the art facilities and a uniquely involved uniquely curriculum. 
as I feel you say. Those seeking knowledge need to look no further than the oranges of Paldea. That's right, they were friends in the Narajada Academy. It said that this proverb put it in. It is said that, the, that this proverb source was even used outside of the Paldea's region. Of course, that's not even what I'm going to do. I'm Man, I have a lot of great teachers here. And another thing funny happened like, today, like, um, like I said, I told you, like, every now and then, like, I will have to take a bus. And I was trying to see if I can really get to the bus on time to, like, get home earlier. But, uh, hold on, let's fucking move my head a little bit. Ah, I don't like it. Oh, fuck. Anyway. So, um... And things like, I had to go, like, from, like, the third floor of my... To, of uh, my, uh, school. To, like, the bottom, to the second floor. And... Get to, like, the, uh... Actually, no. I actually had to get to the first floor. I had to get to the first floor and then like get out of that school building, go down the past library, and then go down a hill to get to like the bus stop that I go to usually. And as I'm like, you know, like going down like the passing the dining hall, I see like my bus that I was supposed to get on leave. It's like, like I see like the logo on it. And I'm like, fuck. I was like, so glossy in there. And like it just leaves. I'm like, damn it. So like I had to say like, longer, but like then again, like that's the plan like Monday or like my stay this at the school the longest. But it's like it just like made me so upset. I was like, no, damn it, I was so close. <laughs> but, God damn it. Okay, my students have a midterm examinations. Send me a historical knowledge from the dark recesses of your mind and answer the questions. I mean, A could be true. 2000. And 5. Does I put you writing utensils down? The last question was a freebie. Even though it is here of you, I sure you ever had a score there. I sure, I certainly hope you did anyway. Since I ended up midterms, you may ask for your score at the front school's front end. I can read. I can read, guys. Shut up. No really say anything. I'm just fucking talking to myself. Baby, that's the way. I'll look at all the results. You have three questions to pass the mid exam. We're going to just pass the final exam. Say you down your final exam exists. Five out of five, baby. Who are who? That's what you. That's how many stars you're worth out of five. Let me guess. Uh, XP small candies. Okay, so I, I had to do the quick sign in on my game. Okay, we got like 15 more minutes left, so let's go ahead and take a mo Okay, so we're gonna stop right there from the lessons. We'll do more of these next time. And let's see, where do we gotta go next? It says here we gotta go do the water gym next, but I wanna do something else. I wanna try to see if I can find another team member of ours. And I gotta figure out where that one is. Let me see if I. First, let me see if I have it on my Pokedex.
A to Z. C, D, 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 T, 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 where's the T's? Tink, tink, tink. No, no Tinkaton yet. But that's what I'm gonna go find, look for. I'm gonna go look for Tinkaton. And if I remember correctly, it should be in. Tinkaton or Tinkatan? Tink, 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 tink. I have to flip it around a little bit. I think it has to be like round here. Like... I'm trying to think, where would it be? Okay, I'm like I'm trying to think, where could it be? Where could it be? Where could it be? Where could it be? Maybe it's over here. Not sure, but we can try there. Cause like it's like a three stage evolution, I'm pretty sure. Like goes from like a little baby to like I think, right? My face hurts. I actually fucked my face. Yeah, it does have like a two stage evolution. Alright, cool. Make sure. I can't remember my eye real quick. God damn, hang on. So, I guess let's go try this area over here. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and check around here. Damn it. Damn it. I have been watching a lot of South Park lately. I don't know why, because, like, I think it's because, like, I just saw one random clip on, like, my TikTok. Whoa. Yo, it's a motorcycle dragon. What the fuck? On to us. What the fuck? I don't know if it's gonna be factor. Oh, it is super fire because I, because I remember like this thing is normal dragon, and I remember I thought like oh, for a long time I thought like this was gonna be like a ride bike or whatever, and then like it was gonna evolve into this Pokemon. I guess not. It's just the uh, Pokemon here. Slash. I guess we can try to get rid of that. If we have to get it back, we'll just kind of wheel on it. Hmm. Right back at this time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. As long as we had fucking. As long as we had fucking car games and fucking motorcycle. Uh, these guys. A motorcycle dragons for a long time. Alright, makes sense. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's something in Yu Gi Oh! Fight these in the manga. Because I read the manga a lot. I thought like I oh, for that for a long time I thought the manga was better. And I don't mean that in terms of like Yu-Gi-Oh, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu -Gi -Oh. I mean like like the eh, the spin-offs. Cause the thing about the spin-offs is that So the usual thing was like, oh it's just you know we're just gonna make a copy of the anime. Okay, actually no, here's some insight, uh... Let's 
when you look at the uh, manga, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, the ma, Yu-Gi-Oh, the show, the original one, like the drug dual monsters, was all based on the manga, which came out first. But anything afterwards was a tightly original thing on its own, and then to get manga later. Another interesting thing about, like, about the manga, though, it's like... Is like, yeah, we do get the manga, but like... It's so interesting, though, because like, it has like a, not only has like a, such a different plot... It also has like a different way of like handling the characters and everything like that. Like, I mean, like, oh. I remember, like, in uh, Yu Gi Oh! Fight E, like, in that one, like, Jack and Yusei and Crow and Kylan did not all know each other. Did not know each other at all. So it's like, it's like oh, who the fuck are you? Like, oh, I'm Yusei Fudo. I think another thing I also find so interesting about it was, like, also, like, how the, uh, and like how they change up like, you know, the characters in the decks. Hello, Makila. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, why don't we get in your way? What was that squeak? Hey, muscle. Give a little spike. Ooh, yeah, and it's paralyzed. Yeah. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, shit, I was talking about. Oh my god, my brain farted. I do not know what I was talking about. Uh... Shit, I legit talk about... I was talking about something, then I went like, oh yeah, 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 and I was like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just like going off and then like I hate when that happens like when I'm, I talk about something for a while and then like something happens like okay I'll take care of this and like anyway back to my conversation point I was like and I was like I don't know what I was talking about I mean I could just fucking go to my stream and just see what I was talking about let me uh, pull it up let me also turn on the volume. Cause I don't do a thing like well like, I don't want like my voice being that out. Okay, never mind, that's not gonna work on my not on that. So I gotta go like to like my Twitch on like Safari. Cause like it'll pull up like as a video video. Damn it, I do not know what I was talking about. Damn it, no. I was talking about like, uh. I was spitting. I was spitting and then I got distracted by life. It's not like like campus and shit like that. The bus. No. Oh. I finished that conversation a while ago. Shit. 
Yeah, what was I talking about? Oh. <laughs> Fuck my pussy. You know, that's what I get though for like sitting on it though. Pokemon. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Oh my god, that's right. I was talking about my library. I don't know if that was, was that I was talking about though. But I was talking about my library at one point. And I never finished that conversation point. Anyway, um, I was saying, so no, like I said, I was looking for like one of my library classrooms and I, I couldn't find it at one point. And while I was like walking upstairs, I found like they have a graphic novel session. And they like, oh man, that's the. And they're such, you know, like, their graphic novel session is probably to be bigger than, like, how I expected it to be. So, oh, I was like. So I was like, oh shit. So I gotta. So like, I legitimately like actually like, you know, so I like looked through. And how like, I was in the middle of like trying to find my classroom, so I was like, ah, I can't look too long. So I was like, I was like, oh, that's cool. It has a pretty big section. And then like walked off before finding my classroom. Then like last week, or I think I think it was the same week or so, I decided to go back and check it out again. But like, hold on, let me go ahead and put hand things out of my hands, like and, you know, clean my ass, because like I'm like scratching my nose. And how it was like, I decided to go check out the library. There's a graphic novel section, and it shocked me what was in the graphic novel section. Great, it, it should not surprise me too much because you know this is college. It's like you know for fucking adults. But like they had like one two beast, the manga that was created by Matsuma Sume, and stuff like that. It was like had don't tease me Nagato. I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? I wasn't gonna be like, I was like, here's the reason why like, it shocked me though. It shocked me because this means that there are some people at my school who are bold enough to be like. I'm going to check out this book and no one's gonna and you can't do anything about it and I'm like that's fucking crazy to think about you know what I mean like it takes some balls to be like you know what I want to check out this book this book that has anime titties right on top like it's like god dang like I want to know like who because I doubt I'll ever check it out like I'll legit probably like I will legit, if I want to read it, I will legitimately go over, grab the book, read it right then and there, and then put it back. Because I am nervous to, like, hell, I feel nervous going to, like, to a bookstore and buying, like, a book that, like, has, like, a slightly suggestive cover on it. I'm just like, I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna buy Chain Shoulder. Sh shoulder? <laughs> chain Shoulder. Chain shoulder. Chain. Chain shoulder. Chain. Can't not say things that I. Chained soldier. Chained soldier. Chained soldier. Oh my fucking god, I had it, but then I fucked it up at the last second. Chained soldier. But yeah, I have like chained soldier. Which. The first cover, like, on volume one is not so bad. But on the second volume, like, it has, like, a, like, like, has, like, outfit open. So, like, she's, like, in, like, a, like her underwear a little bit. And we were buying that, uh, like, uh, buying the novels. And, like, I was getting it from a little, and, like, like, and Pesci was checking out with a little old lady. Old lady. And she didn't judge me for, like, while well, I was buying anything like that. But, no, what did worry me, though, was, like, afterwards, like, because she, because like where I live, like they don't give bags all the time. So I legitimately like, was like, oh, okay, thank you. And the way she stacked the books, and I grabbed them, 
had it so like that book was facing outward. And I quickly caught on to it and I was like, oh no. And I legitimately like grabbed it and like hid it away. And turned around so bad because like because here's the thing though, like despite me like reading all these parody books, whatever, like I make make sure like if the kids want to get into anime, whatever, I make sure they get into the right ones. I don't want them to be like me, but I'm like, I'm gonna watch any anime that catches my eye. And watch either A, bad anime, or B, anime with freaking lewd things going on. Cause that's my line of logic. I'm like, listen, I'm not, you know, you kids should not be corrupted. I was corrupted and I do not, and I should not be. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the Pokemon Center in a bit. Just gonna grab them. Maybe off screen I'll probably try to catch the yo whoa. Uh Tink it's on. Tink and Tink. I don't know what it's called. All I know is that I saw a little see a little saw a little girl with a little hammer. And I was like, I want it. I don't care if it can kill me, I want it. So, you know, I'll, I'll try to look around off screen, maybe. And I'll see, you know, do some quick leveling up before the next guy. Which suggests I do it at level 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here and go ahead and heal up and win the stream right there. But yeah, like I said, I just found it like fucking so crazy that someone's like gonna be bold enough to check it out. And like, I feel nervous even going to Barnes and Nobles or even King Kuya to like get books. Uh, relatively like risque or whatever and just having like either like maybe like that look from like the red show where you go you want this book little freak little weirdo little pervert and like i know i know it's not the great but i, I can't i i don't know if the team should be up better now it's like but yeah no, like i said i just find it so fun it does not work even when i read in the little when I read like on a bus, it does not help my feeling. See right there. Cause uh before I end the stream real quick, uh let me talk about this. Cause uh okay, so here's the thing. When I go on the bus, I tend to bring manga or a book with me to like read on the bus because like it takes like, an hour to get back into like the city. And then like I gotta wait at, like at another bus stop, whatever. But no, um on the bus ride I didn't read solely the books. And I forgot like how like a little risque it gets. Especially with, like fucking Blair. I'm like. And things like, god dang it. So I'm like, I have to like, kind of like close my book a little bit, like while I'm reading those pages. I'm like, don't look. So I'm like, uh, great. So I'm like just trying to like, hide my book. I'm like, no, don't look. Like, I'm, I'm, reading, I'm legit reading for the plot. I'm not trying to look at it because pretty ladies. Though at home later, I will look at those pages a little more close. I'm like, hmm, Blair. But uh, like I said, uh, it's just so funny though. Like, just like going to like this major university and just find those kind of books there. I'm like, huh. Anyway, um, Dan, I was gonna be it for the stream. I. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I try to stream like for like two hours at best, but on, like on like Fridays and Saturdays, I'll be streaming like three hours. But no, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun streaming this. I I feel it's good being back to stream again. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and watch us on YouTube. But if you're not and you watch us on Twitch, follow me so you know when I go live. But if you're not watching right now on Twitch, but you're watching it on YouTube, go to the link below. I was gonna take it to my Twitch and you can follow me there and you can see why I go live. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever time you watch this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.